Poshman. Thank you. Right, let's return to the Academy Awards. Uh, in a few hours' time, Hollywood A-listers will be walking down the red carpet in what has been called the most political Oscars yet. Well, joining me now is uh, Ben Zosma. He's a reporter and Oscars analyst. And analyst is the word, isn't it, Ben? You've been digging through this and you've managed to prove that this is the most political Oscars yet. How have you done that? I did my best. I went through all 554 Best Picture nominees in history, including the eight this year, and marked each one as political or not political. I've seen a good 300 plus of them, and the others I researched to determine if they either dealt with a political issue or if they very clearly portrayed politics on screen. It turns out that on average, 38% of nominees are political, but this year it's 75%. So why, then, does your research extend that far? Why do you think that this year, particularly, we've got such a high number of political films uh, up for awards? I think it's a film-by-film film case, but a good part of it is the current political climate here in the United States. Some of the films very directly talked about the current political situation, whether it was Vice talking about the rise of modern Republican politics throughout the previous decade, or Black Klansmen, which ended going straight to Donald Trump himself giving his speech after the Charlottesville attack, or even Roma. While it wasn't set in the present day, it was very clearly making a message about the humanity of Mexicans in a time in American politics where that's become a political issue. And have there been any other times um, in, in its history where politics has kind of dominated? There have. So this year, by my research, was the most political year of the last 75 years. But if you go back 75 and 76 years to 1942 and 1943, those years were tied and won ahead of this year. It's not surprising that that era was particularly political as well, because it was right during the height of World War II. I see. And does, um, give, given that we've got this number of political uh, films, does that give you an insight into which one will actually win? So historically, there has been a slight advantage for political films over not political films. 19% of political films have won the Oscar, while only 15% of apolitical films have won the Oscar. It's not a huge difference, and it's not enough to base predictions on, especially when six of the eight nominees this year are political in some way. It wouldn't help you too much. But my mathematical model does favor Roma, which is, in fact, one of those six political nominees. I see. And I think we've set our own record for the most number of times the word politics or political has been used ever in an interview about the Oscars. And isn't that part <laughs> of the point here? People want to go to the movies for escapism to get away from all that. I think there's two camps on that question. There's absolutely a large number of people who prefer films as escapism and who want the Oscars to be completely free of politics. Those people tend to be louder right now because the Oscars have been so political recently, especially in some of the acceptance speeches. I would bet if the Oscars swung the other direction, you'd have people complaining from the other side that these people have a big platform and they should be using that platform to talk politics. So I don't think you're going to please all of the viewers in either case. OK, and lastly, then, just in a couple of seconds, who do you think is going to win? My model has Roma to win Best Picture and Best Director, along with Rami Malek and Glenn Close for the Top Acting Awards. Excellent. Thank you so much for sticking your neck out. We appreciate it. And only just a couple of hours now until we know for certain. Ben, as Osma, thanks very much for being with us. You've been watching uh, World News Today. Uh, get me on Twitter anytime. I'm at L. Vaughan Jones. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Thanks for your company. Bye-bye.